The Patriots just lost to the Seattle Seahawks at home 23-20 after a game where it looked like they were going to pull it off. But there were a couple things that didn't go our way. One, that defensive pass interference on the Tyler Lockett incompletion in overtime, the blocked field goal, Mayo not going for it on 4th and 1. Yes, it was in your own territory, but it's still, you know, possible. And a couple more confusing flags, to say the least. How the players did today was the running game was great again. Gibson had that 45-yard run, 11 carries, 96 yards. Ramondre, 21 for 81 and a touchdown. But the passing game just leaves so much to be desired. We don't take any shots. We don't get the ball into our playmakers, Jalen Polk and Demario Douglas' hands. Jacoby, Jacoby went 15 of 27 for 149 yards and a touchdown. That's awful. But, I mean, he's efficient and he doesn't make mistakes. But almost all of his yards were from 200 Henry big plays. And just, you know, he had eight catches for 109. He had a couple great runs after the catch. Polk had a touchdown, his first great touchdown. Good for him. But there's just no creativity in the passing game. Now, the running play calls are great. The Ramondre, you know, direct snap for the one-yard touchdown. I love everything we're doing in the running game with Van Pelt as offensive coordinator. But there is a lot to be desired in this passing game because it looks like we're... Jacoby just seems like he's playing not to make a mistake. He's not playing to take a shot to, you know, do something to help us win the game. Well, yes, not making mistakes wins the game. But, like, he's just not doing enough as an NFL quarterback to really, one, wow anyone, two, actually make plays downfield. We're not taking any shots downfield in these games. Now, the Seahawks defense did great. I mean, they have two of the best corners in the league. You know, they did good in the passing game as well. But you, the same can't be said about the Patriots. I mean, Geno Smith, 327 yards and a touchdown. Two receivers with over 100 and both over 10 catches with JSN, 12 for 117. And Metcalf, 10 for 129, a touchdown, a blown coverage, 56-yard touchdown, which was a um, miscommunication between Duggar and Gonzo. Because it was zone, Gonzo was supposed to pass him off to Duggar. Duggar didn't take the pass off, and he was just wide open. But we did stop their running game, just like we did last week. Charbonnet, 14 for 38, and a touchdown, 2.7 to carry. But if I'm the Patriots, there's got to be something that we can do about this passing game. Yes, I know the offensive line isn't great. Jacoby Brissett, every time he got hurt, it looked like he was out for the year with like a ribs or something like that. He was wincing in pain horribly the entire game. It was, I felt bad for the guy because he got hit a good bit. But you got to just get the ball into our receiver's hands. Take shots downfield. We need to see some more creativity from this Patriots offense for us to have a chance at winning a game. Yes, we won last week due to turnovers and great defense and Ramadre again being the monster. But we can't rely on that every week. Comes down to a close game. You got to throw the ball. You got to be aggressive. You got to go for it. You can't just be these five to ten yard outs and drags and screens and all that. You got to take a shot to Jalen Polk, to anyone. Pop Douglas can't finish with zero catches. He's good after the catch. He's great after the catch. You got to get him the ball in some way. He didn't even have a rushing attempt either. He didn't touch the ball. You can't have that. I know we ran the ball almost 40 times, but you cannot have Demario Douglas not getting the ball, Polk only getting it twice, Osborne with one catch. You can't have our playmakers not get the ball in the passing game just because you are so keen on running it and then just doing short passes. You, Van Pelt is great. I love what he's done with us for the first two weeks, but he has to be more creative in the passing game with Jacoby Brissett. To say that, our defense didn't look bad again. It looked pretty good. Keon Waite had another sack and a half today. Kyle Duggar had a sack. Peppers had a couple knockdowns. Gonzo didn't play that bad. The DBs didn't play bad except for some phantom DPIs. One of them was a pass interference, but the ball was overthrown by a mile, so technically by rule it shouldn't be, which led to the Charbonnet touchdown. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna keep quiet on that one, but... I, there was some stuff on defense that wasn't great, like the passing defense wasn't good, the rush defense was great, pass rush was great, sacked Gino you know, three times, but really the main thing that we have to look forward to if we want to have any hope in the Patriots, and I do, I don't think we'll be a playoff team, but I think we'll be a lot better than what was expected of us. We might be like a six-win team, we were projected to be like a four-win team. I'm okay with that. But we need to see shots taken in the passing game. That is the number one thing. That, we got to sure up this passing defense because Geno Smith 
good quarterback should not be throwing for over 300 yards on us. I know they had to throw because the running game was going nowhere, but he cannot be throwing for over 300 yards on us when we have allegedly a great secondary with Duggar, Peppers, Hawkins wasn't terrible today, Gonzo, Jones, and Jones, Marcus and Jonathan. That's a good secondary that shouldn't be allowing 300 yards to Geno Smith, especially with all of our, you know, our great defensive schemes led by Gerard Mayo and crew, and Gonzo being an elite corner, Marcus being a good slot, Jonathan being good on the outside, Peppers being a great safety, same thing with Duggar. You can't be allowing that many yards and allow the Seahawks to just be as aggressive as they were. Yes, there was the broken coverage. That's Duggar's fault as well. Um, There's just something that has to be done here, but I can't really pinpoint it to more than just the passing because our passing offense just leaves it leaves me hopeless for Jacoby Brissett he doesn't take shots at all I, I keep reiterating this but he needs to be able to take the shots there were a couple great plays though I mean Ramondre had that one drive where he just went crazy you know like a 12 yard gain 10 yard gain 6 yard gain then the one yard touchdown a couple other good game gains he also fumbled but he recovered it but it's all right um, I also found it funny when he got the first down on the third down where the one yard line or like the half yard line was the first down. He did a first down celebration. I honestly thought that was kind of comedic because it was like, you are right there. Like why? Whatever. But I have a lot of faith in this team because of the running game and the defense. Like I said last week in my uh, B- Patriots Bengals recap. But outside of that, it really, really is just. There's just so much that you look at this team and you're like, we have young guys that need to prove themselves and get the ball, take shots to Polk. He gets open downfield. Maybe not as much today, but last week he did. And Jacoby doesn't even look downfield. He doesn't look past 20 yards unless it's Hunter Henry for some reason. I don't get it. The Patriots have a lot of figuring out to do. And while Ramondre and Antonio Gibson and the defense was great, Keon White's going to be an all pro this year. Trust me. There is a lot for Patriots fans to look at and question what is next for this Patriots offense to the point where we can't beat the Seahawks in a game that we had in our bag. Yes, we got a field goal blocked. Yes, there were the penalties. Yes, we weren't aggressive coaching wise. But the main thing that this game showed us is one, we could be competitive with any team in the league or any decent team in the league. Now, I don't want to talk about when we play like actually really good teams because I'm afraid of that. But um, we could be competitive with these decent teams. Like the Seahawks are going to be a 9-10 win team. You know, pretty good. They're 2-0 right now. But we do need to show more effort in the passing game. And yes, we got screwed over by the block field goal and all the penalties and all that. But we can't make excuses. We have to look at the facts, look at the game, look what happened today, and say that Van Pelt and Jacoby need to be more aggressive going downfield.